So whenever you're traveling, obviously you need money. There's a lot of free things that you can do and there's a lot of free ways to get from point A to point B. But typically you're going to need money. Barter doesn't work that well. So it's never fun when you don't have money for a trip. Either you don't have enough money to continue another leg of your trip or you don't have enough money to even eat. It's a real bummer. It's 9 a.m. We're off to find another ATM in attempts to get some more money. Uh, I spent the entire night last night going to six different ATMs to try to get any amount of cash, and all of them wouldn't work. So I spent the entire morning calling and they said that there's nothing wrong with the card, and it happens in Europe apparently. Anyways, we're gonna try to get some money, otherwise, we're gonna be poor. So this is not the first time we've traveled, nor is it the first time I've had to withdraw money from my ATM card. But it is the first time that I've called the bank, told them that I was traveling, exactly where I was traveling, when I was traveling. And when I arrived in the city, I was unable to use the ATM card. So I decided to use my credit cards, which I also called in advance. But those weren't working either. Just want to be clear, when you keep your money with the bank, you're basically letting them borrow your money, even though they pay you interest if it's a savings account, or even if you're getting some sort of return in order to sign up for an account. At the end of the day, you're paying a bank to hold your money so that they can do investments with your money. So it's really frustrating when you should have access to your money and they just don't give you access to your own money. So we finally were able to withdraw money. It took about seven hours to get money out of our account, uh, but we finally have money. Having money while traveling sucks. Obviously, you don't want to spend several hours trying to withdraw money, and you definitely don't want to spend several hours arguing with the bank to withdraw your own money. But at the end of the day, if you can't get your money, your entire trip is put on hold until you can get some money. The most amusing part is we went to like probably about 10 banks and every single bank has crazy security. You can always have one person go through the door at a time and it seals off on both sides. Plus it looks like bulletproof glass. So pretty freaking crazy. Uh, makes it really hard for anyone to steal money obviously. And the other place that we saw was there are lockers so you have to put all your bags and everything, your, um, your cell phones and everything before you can actually get in. Basically it looks like the embassy. The security in Italy for banks is just mind-blowing. I've been to banks in a lot of places in Asia, what would be considered dangerous areas in the US, and I've never seen the level of security that they have at Italian banks. I'm not sure if it's because they get robbed all the time or if it's just because they enjoy having a lot of security. 